Hey, Jet Nation, welcome back, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of This Week in Jet Nation. Well, as we all know, training camp is in full swing, and several practices and the green and white scrimmage have been completed. Preseason football starts this week as the Jets have their first preseason game at home against the Colts on Thursday. I will be there, and I hope to see you there as well. The scrimmage uh, had every Jet fan hoping for one thing, no injuries. But early reports do say that linebacker Jermaine Cunningham suffered a torn Achilles and will be lost for the season, unfortunately. Antoine Barnes is still on the pup list, and Calvin Pryor is recovering from his concussion. Willie Clondo is back on the field and has reclaimed his starting position. The offense is still behind the defense, and that will probably always be the case as long as Rex Ryan is in town. There were no offensive touchdowns in the scrimmage, but hey, at least we have full Kiro. Who are the winners and the losers in camp so far? This can change in a hurry after the preseason games, but based on the practices so far, it seems that Geno Smith has locked down the starting quarterback position, and he also has a positive outlook after the scrimmage, even though no offensive points were scored. There are also several reports saying that he has improved so far in year two. Zach Sudfield has a lot of people talking. The six foot seven tight end has still a lot to prove, but he's off to a good start. Rookie Jason Morrow has gotten off to a slow start, but it would be nice if Sudfield uh, became a target for Juno while Morrow transitioned to the speed of the NFL. Out of the wide receivers, the biggest surprise so far has been Greg Salas. While trending on Twitter during the green and white scrimmage, the six foot two, 210 pound wideout was originally drafted by the Rams in 2011. He is definitely making a name for himself in camp because he's catching everything in sight. Almost everything. He had one drop during the scrimmage, but ooh, big deal. Um, but it's definitely helping and making his chances at roster during that crowd position. Is Stephen Hill a uh, camp winner or loser? Too early to tell. Uh, he is definitely a player to watch, though, during the preseason games. Same goes for Brian Winters and um, Obde Abushi. They will earn or lose their spots during the preseason games for sure. And defensively, though, two safeties were recently praised by Rex Ryan, hard-hitting Rontas uh, Miles and Jay Quan Jarrett, which is very interesting because Calvin Pryor hasn't even contributed yet. Maybe the Jets' secondary won't be such a big concern after all, which is very good for us. Uh, D. Milner and the other corners, though, will have final say. And as always, we want to know what you have to say. So, again, let us know in the forums. Um, you know, football season, it's in full swing, guys. So, let it out. Let us know. Uh, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, you know, we're always rolling. And also, of course, like us on Facebook. Uh, it's season, guys. Let it out. It's here. And as always, go Jets.